Hello, everybody. I was recently given remote access to a system running a AMD Radeon 6800, which is AMD's first graphics card that has ray tracing capabilities on it. And if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I am currently developing basically a remastered version of the 1996 game Strife. I'm doing that in the Unreal Engine 4 with a modified fork of the engine, which was modified by NVIDIA to have experimental RTX effects enabled in it. These are all DXR level effects. There's nothing proprietary about them. But I wanted to see how AMD's hardware would handle working in this game dev environment. So we're starting off right now with just a extreme, like 5,000% fast forward of me setting everything up uh, on this remote computer. Takes a while. Basically had to recompile the whole engine for this um, system because it's a hunt, like 100 gigabytes once compiled. And I also had to copy over my project folder. So I should be getting into it here. And the first thing that I end up seeing when I finally let all the shaders compile is this mess. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, well, initially, I don't know what's going on here. There's speckles everywhere. Some of the effects don't seem like they're working. So I really quickly like take a screenshot of everything, start tweeting what I'm finding. So I go into my project a little bit more and um, I double check some of the um, world blueprint commands that I have uh, run when, when you click play. Make sure everything looks right uh, to what I have going on uh, my local computer. Um, I make sure DLSS doesn't try to turn on, even though it won't, it won't work. I've tried it. Um, and let's click play and see if uh, initializing those commands fix any, fixes anything. And it really doesn't. I'm still not sure what's going on. And if you've seen me move weird, it's because I didn't realize that holding W in Team Viewer uh, is like typing and pressing the arrow keys works better. Uh, I eventually figured that out. But yeah, we're still getting this distortion, but all of the effects are working. Like we're getting the caustics effects, we're getting the reflections, we're getting everything. But I'm also, besides the really obvious artifacting, I'm getting this rainbow texture effect. I don't know what's causing that. I still don't know what is making that happen on this particular map. And I'm not really doing this to be like, oh, look, AMD doesn't support things. No, AMD supports things. Uh, I mean, clearly, every, every, all of the RTX or, or DXR effects work. Um, it could just be that, you know, some of the things are a little bit weird on the hardware because nobody's had time to optimize for it, to tune for it, to suss out general uh, compatibility things with it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm the first person using this particular fork of the Unreal 4 engine on this hardware. In fact, I, I know I am. <laughs> now you can see something weird with the sky there. It's not fully resolving correctly. Don't really know what that's about. So I'm going through the post-process volume here and I'm like, okay, so let's turn off some effects. Let's see if, let's see if it is the ray tracing effects that are making this happen. And 
global illumination off, mesh caustics off, water caustics off, uh, turn off the translucency. Translucency seems to fix stuff. Reflections, nothing really changed. You still get the weird colors going on. I don't, I don't know what those are. I mean, this is obvious, obviously something in the future as I'm developing this game that I'm, I'm going to have to get time on one of these uh, GPUs to see if, uh, see what I have to do to fix this. And I, I noticed something when, right when you enable translucency, things get really wonky again. That's not the way that's supposed to look through that window at all. But all the other effects work fine. So you got the caustics that just enabled. All that seems to work. There's something weird with translucency. And we're looking at more of the outside part of this level. Yeah, it's still just more weird translucency things, but for some reason it affects every object. I'm not really sure why. But that's enough of this part. I'm going to cut ahead a whole lot because I have three hours of footage of this. And uh, let's get to where this is working properly. So now we're getting into things here. I spent a whole bunch of time changing project settings, changing the rendering pathway settings and a couple other things and really nothing changed. So I made a brand new map here and we're just going to see, starting with just with the basics here, what things do what. So I put one of my doors that I made for the game in here and Looking at it, it looks kind of normal. There, there's something weird with the reflections. So I play around a little bit more with that. So now I'm wondering a little bit more about kind of like all the reflections because the reflections looked weird to me. So let's just make this floor chrome, basically one of my chrome materials from, you know, like the, the preset sample things. Let's see how uh, it handles that. And oh, what is even going on here? It looks like it's not handling the sky. Objects look fine in the reflection, but the sky doesn't. So I'm wondering if it does have to do with the, the atmosphere, the sky box itself. I'm still not fully understanding what's going on. Now I'm starting to catch on the things a little bit. I added a couple of my windows that I made in here, which are obviously translucency. And I'm seeing how it handles this after I also changed a whole bunch of other things. The caustics are working through the windows. You can see that happening, especially as I... Uh, move up the brightness of that light. I figured out the reflections and basically there's something weird with this hardware and the code for translucency. It has nothing to do with NVIDIA, it has nothing to do with AMD. This is just kinks that need to be worked out. This, is, this isn't inflammatory, I'm not blaming anyone. This is just what I'm observing with this exotic version of the engine with this brand new ray tracing hardware. That's it. That's it, guys. Don't use this as ammunition in any uh, fanboy games at all, please. The, the caustics are a really cool effect, though, I, I have to say. That's why I'm using this version of the engine. I love the way they look. I, I just love the effect. It's cool. Because, you know, it's what light does when it goes through things. And it, it looks nice. And it looks awesome on water, too. But 
but as long as, uh, at least right now on this hardware, if I have translucency on raster, it works fine, which sucks because then you don't get the really good physical translucency where, where it just looks correct when you're looking through a pane of glass that might be a little bumpy or something. It's just, you lose a whole bunch of depth to the ray tracing. So anyway, right now I'm turning this little sphere that I added um, into the water material that I use. So let's uh, go to that. Now we have the sphere with the water material that I use. Obviously it doesn't look all that right because I designed it around ray tracing translucency working, but the caustics are working. And you can see that's a really cool effect. You got the warbling going through there, the light passing through it and getting affected by the normal map of the water. And ooh, it's, it's just nice. It's just really nice. And that is actually mesh caustics right there. That is not the complete water caustics. I didn't enable that yet. Because there's two different types of caustics, I'm, but I'm not going to get into that, into this. But hey, it's all running. All of these NVIDIA developed ray tracing technologies on AMD hardware. So you got that, right? That's awesome. So let's, yeah, see, I, I try to re-enable translucency here and you can see it just immediately goes to crap, which is sad because I really want those effects. And there's no combination of like using the hybrid translucency model or turning off translucency absorption or anything that ends up making it work. The translucency is only work in raster, which is a shame right now. But that should really just be a really easy fix that just gets pushed to the engine. So let's go ahead a little bit more and uh, see what else ends up happening. So I've gone ahead here quite a bit. <laughs> I got the um, water caustics enabled and a couple other things. And what I'm going to be doing is basically building this into uh, just a little room, a box room that has a brick material on the walls. And that brick material has a emissive property to it. And with this version of the engine, those that emissivity property also feeds into the global illumination, uh, ray traced global illumination. So it actually will light the scene with emissive uh, textures, which is really useful and cool <laughs> because before you would just have glowing things and the glowing things would need their own separate actual lights, which is kind of dumb or they would need to be baked. So, yeah, let's uh, build that and I'll skip through it and we will uh, have a fully boxed in room. So now we are in the boxed up room. I'm still applying all of the uh, materials to each uh, each wall here. And you can see how um, there's no lights in this scene except for those bright spots on the on the material. Those are the only thing that are lighting up the scene right now. Uh, until I enable the actual point light. And yeah, 6800 RDNA 2. It is definitely handling uh, RTX ray tracing just uh, just fine. I do limit the frame rate in here uh, to 30 FPS for the most part. There was a little section that I didn't show where I um, just let the graphics card go balls to the wall with frame rate. Uh, but I don't do that when I'm editing because I don't feel like having, you know, a crazy uh, GPU fan next to me. 
30s. 30s fine for editing. But you do discover interesting things when the frame rate uh, isn't fixed. And you can see the way this, the, my, the, 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 let me geek out with my material here. The way the, the material works is it's all in world space. So everything kind of like tiles correctly, as long as they're connected. There you go. See, yeah, I switched on and off translucency and everything went wonky again. So I, that's, it's a shame. It is a shame, but you could see we got ray tracing. It's working. Even the, um, a, a, spe a special thing with um, the global illumination is that there's also a new denoiser that uh, is enabled and that works perfectly fine. But let's skip ahead a little bit more and it'll basically be the end of the video. So here's what happens when you have some translucency enabled and other things and you finally bring a real light into the scene. You could see the caustic start to cast and everything. Everything looks cool. That looks really cool. I also have the settings pumped up a whole lot higher than I usually would on my 2070 Super. And it is handling them, even though that frame rate says it's low. It's, it's, it's doing like a champ right now. You see, that's, that's what happens when you enable ray trace translucency again. It's not working correctly. Resorption doesn't help it. Nothing really helps it. So we just leave that on raster. It's, it's, it's fine. So now I'm messing around with the caustics. You can see when you stretch, uh, stretch the thing, it, it, it does what you would expect it to do um, up until you start going negative in, in, in the scale values. Then it, then it really starts to screw up. But it's pretty much doing what you would physically expect a uh, refraction of light to do through uh, a volume like that. It's such a cool effect. And it's working on AMD hardware. I'm, I'm just going to keep saying that. Like, this is all working. Except for a couple little bugs in this offshoot experimental fork of the Unreal 4 engine that no one uses. <laughs> except for maybe NVIDIA. And me, I, I don't know that many other people that are using it. But then I don't really talk to people, so that's my fault. Yeah, I could see myself happily developing with a, a 6800. Probably the 6800 XT would even be that much better if it wasn't for these compatibility issues, which should get fixed, you know, I mean soonish shouldn't be too bad i know nvidia is not going to stop it from happening because it just makes more compatibility that's good I was, I'm, like I, I don't see any reason why they they wouldn't so yeah that's it that's my quick 20 minute look at uh the 6800 on uh unreal 4 with experimental effects i'll see you in the next video i guess bye